Hi, I'm Jesse Roy with Rotovec. Today we're going to take a look at removing the rotate motor from our standard Rotovec RT series rotations. So taking your rotation and starting with the rotate motor guard removed and the rotate circuit hydraulic lines disconnected and capped, locate the six socket head cap screws holding the motor in place. Uh, there'll be four on the top of the rotate motor holding it through the main body and two on the lower flange. With the six socket head cap screws removed, now you can gently pry up on the motor to remove it from its seat. Once the motor has been released from its seat, turn the motor about 90 to 180 degrees to ensure that it's free from any obstacles and at that point you can lift straight up on the motor. At that point, double check that the thrust bearing and two washers were removed along with the motor. Uh, if they're not on the base of the pinion gear, take a look inside the cavity of the rotation as they may still be remaining inside. For reassembly, start by seating the first washer in place at the base of the pinion shaft support. These washers need to be installed with the lettering facing away from the bearing. Next, place the thrust bearing on the first washer, while the second washer can remain on the pinion shaft. Follow this by placing the motor back onto the rotation, again at about 90 to 180 degrees offset. Turn the rotate motor back into its final position. Reinsert your six socket head cap screws with Loctite 242 or blue Loctite. Tighten, then torque to 40 foot-pounds, starting with the four on top of the motor, followed by the two additional screws on the flange. Now you can reconnect your hydraulic lines and reinstall your motor guard. For more information on Rotobac Ortz products, please visit our website at www.rotobac.com.